Using the Shape Creation tool will automatically create a new layer through the Shapes Generator that contains a path group with a path inside of it. Selecting the generator in the timeline will display the entire structure in the Properties panel. The item you select, whether in the Properties panel or in the timeline, will determine the context for the next element you create. Depending on the panel you click on, you'll see a blue frame indicating that it's the active panel. The current selection in the active panel will determine where the next path you create will be added. By selecting path group 1, you indicate that you want to add path 2 to it. Delete path 2 and now select the shapes generator in the timeline. A blue frame will appear around it, indicating that this selection will be used as a reference for the next path. Since the Shapes Generator holds Path Group 1, a Path Group 2 will be created with a new Path 1 inside of it. A new stroke style has also been added. The selection allowed us to define the context to create a new Path Group here. If we want to add a new path inside of Path Group 1, we just need to select Path Group 1 before drawing and then we can draw the new shape to add it to this Path Group. The selection can be made in the timeline, where the blue frame will indicate that it's the active panel. This process also works when there's no current selection. If we select inside the empty area of the timeline to have no selection and then start drawing a new shape, a new shape layer named Shape 2 will appear in the timeline. This layer also contains its own hierarchy dedicated to shapes. The current selection will display the hierarchy contained in either Shape 1 or Shape 2 in the Properties panel. It's also possible to select one of the paths in Path Group 1 to set this group as the creation context. Now we have two layers using a Shapes Generator. Shape 1 contains two paths, and Shape 2 contains one path. Each of these layers contains a Shapes Generator that will output pixels. Now we can switch back to the Transform tool to select these layers as if they were simple animations or PNG images. Keep in mind that each of these layers here uses a shapes generator containing a hierarchy of path groups, paths, and styles, which in turn produce pixels. You can move and animate them in the same way as any other layer, and even add modifiers. Take some time to get used to selecting the creation context. Practice making targeted selections to specifically determine where you'll draw your next path, as well as identifying the active panel represented by a blue outline. This way you can work much more efficiently by anticipating exactly where your different paths will be added when you draw them. Of course, you can always change the organization of this hierarchy afterward. In this video, we went over how to define a creation context based on a selection and the active panel, and how to add new paths to this current context.